In today's video, we're going to be going through the updated top 8 assault rifles in Warzone Season 5. I'll also be doing SMGs if you're interested, so let's get straight into it. The first one is going to be the BAR, which has had a pretty small buff, but the buff that it has had is a very big one. So it's a small one, it's only one little thing, but it does make a big difference. So for this, you want to use the MX silencer, increasing the accuracy and range along with the XL barrel. The 25 times optic is now going to be everyone's go-to optic for the assault rifles because the other ones that people were using, the 4 to 8 times and the, where is it, the 3 to 6 times, they both now have glint. So if you're using these and you're aiming at someone, they're going to see your glint and then they're going to know that you're aiming at them. So from now on, I would recommend using the 25 times optic because it doesn't have any glint. The WR stock is going to help with the overall accuracy of the weapon and then you want to use strife angled which is going to increase the accuracy of the weapon. We're then going to be using the stippled grip tape wherever it is, I'm a bit blind here, uh, but that, that's just going to increase the accuracy. We're then going to be using the hard scope attachment, it's going to increase the recoil control, fully loaded and the attachment that got a buff was the 8mm Clauser magazine. It still shows 40 but after the update, it actually has 50. I'm not sure why it still shows 40, but it now has 50 bullets, which is a lot of bullets, and it already was the best magazine. So now it has extra bullets, which actually makes a huge difference because it's going to increase the recoil, the movement speed, and the ADS and fire rate. It's a massive, massive difference. Those extra 10 bullets are going to come in clutch. Next up is the AS44. This did get a pretty small nerf, but that being said, it still is a very, very good option at close range. It got a nerf, but just because a weapon gets a nerf, it doesn't mean it's completely useless. It's still very good. So you want to use the recoil booster on this to increase the fire rate along with the first barrel to increase the accuracy. We're then going to be going for the slate reflector because it's a good option at close range. The 12A stock and then the strife angled under barrel. We're also going to be using the 50 round magazine to increase the recoil control and fire rate. And then lengthened along with taped grip to increase the mobility. And then we're going to be using gun code to fire while sprinting. And then fully loaded and that is the full class next up on the list is the vargo 52 this is a really really good assault rifle and it actually has had a buff in the most recent update mainly to its ads but that being said it is one of the best assault rifles i've been using it a lot and after the buff it's just going to be that extra bit better so these are the attachments you guys are going to want to use on this the muzzle and barrel for the accuracy and range under barrel for the accuracy sixth round and then the axle three times Another weapon that did get a nerf is the KGM-40. It got a small nerf to its damage output pretty much. But that being said, it still is a top AR. It's not really been nerfed to the ground. It's still up there as one of the best. So you guys are going to want to use the MX silencer for the accuracy and range along with the shrouded barrel. And then the 25 times optic as well. The next option you guys are going to want to use is the stock, which is the 12V stock, increasing the overall accuracy. The strife angled under barrel is going to increase the range. Sixth round magazine with the lengthened ammo type. And then for the rear grip, we're going to be going for the polymer grip to help the flinch resistance. Tight grip and then fully loaded as the final two attachments. The Cooper Carbine is next, which is a really, really good option. This thing feels really good at the moment. So... Make sure to try it out. It did get a small nerf, but it still is really good. You guys are going to want to use the MX Silencer and then the Cooper Custom Barrel for the accuracy and range. The 25 times Optic and then for the stock, we're going to be going for the Padded Stock to help increase the accuracy. Strife Angled Under Barrel for the accuracy and the 50 round magazine as well for the accuracy, fire rate and ADS. Along with the lengthened ammo type and then for the rear grip, we're going to be going for the stippled grip tape and then tight grip. And fully loaded to finish it off. Let's get into the next one. The next one is going to be the Growl 556. Which has had a massive buff in the most recent update. This thing absolutely fries right now. You need to try it out if you haven't used it in a while. Now this class is a class that you've probably been using for years. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. Because most people already know about it. But this right here is the class that everyone is going to be using. So make sure to use it. The Automaton is one of those assault rifles that hasn't actually been touched in a very long time. It didn't get touched in the most recent update. So it still is a very, very good option. For this, you guys are going to want to use the MX Silencer. And then you guys are going to want to use the BFA Barrel. The 25 times Optic and then the Padded Stock. 
For the underbarrel, we're going to be going for the handstop underbarrel, and then for the magazine, the 75 round magazine with the lengthened ammo type, and the rear grip is going to be stippled grip tape. For the perk one, we're going to be going for tight grip, and for perk two, we're going to be going for fully loaded. Another weapon that is just one of those weapons that is super reliable is the M13. This thing is super reliable and it hasn't been touched in a while. In the last update, it didn't get touched. So this thing is still a very, very good option. You guys are going to want to use the monolithic suppressor, the marksman barrel, the, the three times optic, the six round magazine, and then the commando foregrip. And that is the full class. You guys already probably knew this class because just like the Grau, it's been around for a very long time. But yeah, that is it for the video. Make sure to subscribe. We're doing SMGs next. I hope you guys enjoy these loadouts.